it is kind of nice to have like a precision tool. I'll say that. Oh, we just just jumping. All right, we just jumping. Oh, right. She's still Energy source. under some sign of mind control. Let's that guy? Whoa, what? You're not. Okay. Now, I don't know if you know this about my build, but... If you get up on me, you die. Who are you shooting? Who's behind us? This guy. No, nope, look out. I did walk through my friendly's line of fire. That was entirely on me. Uh-huh. Huh? See, I'd say the bad part about this build is that I'm not scared. And that's probably bad on my part. Whoop. Yeah, you see, I'm a lot on fire. You, you go get him. There we go. No, I'm not scared anymore. Should I be? Maybe. I'm not. Maybe I don't have to be. Mystery will prove my worth. What? We're just going around. Behind you, Crocky. <laughs> uh huh. The hell? Mm hmm. You will kill me for this, but I guess the UCS will be saving the world after all, eh? Godspeed, Dylan. Okay. Good luck to you too, Jed. And thanks. Man. Government be putting more power in the hands of the private sector. You hate to see it. Ow. What? Really? Right through there? All right. So, yeah. If we're saying right through here. How about that? See now, you might think my family is originally Swiss from the way that I am cheesing this, but, uh... That's it. That's the end of my joke. Alright. Good. And uh, we just... We've done this before. Get up on one. Oh. Who's this? I'm good. Where'd he go? He's over there. You first. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. <sighs> there. You just gotta trust in your tools. Take care of your tools, and your tools will take care of you. You know who I learned that from? Mario Mario, that's right. 
somebody over here. Warning. It's showtime, Wiz. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's the... You know, I don't know if we'd have a if we've had a level that you can just straight up fall off of yet. Okay. Warning. Enemies inbound. It's showtime, Wiz. I just line them all up. How do we feel about this? Yes, get close, my pretties. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, come on, go down. And I'm like, no, you. All right. That's last of them. That was like the first of them. Come on. Oh, uh, uh, oh, okay. Remember, no borders. Alternatively. No borders, Hans. What, you think I'm stupid? Adela? Uh-huh. Nah, she's still... She can't hear you. Dylan Wait, does that sound like your dad? Oh, General Mosley. Mosley? I am the Synthetic Computer Intelligence Orbital Network. Whoa. I did not see that coming. Of sorts. I'm a digital construct. Comprised of Godwin Mosley's personality profile and memory data. I'm the heir to his dream. I... He built you. I... What? Your father did. My birthplace is the core programming code of the age system. Okay. Alan Ramsey believed that an emulation of Moses' unparalleled combat intuition was the ideal basis for a Wanzer defense system. Okay. What he didn't realize was that the digitized copy of Moses' personality and memories was so complete that it contained Moses' concept of an independent orbital peacekeeping system. Okay. Heaven scarred. When the UCS army modified Edge to create the Phantom system, their clumsy tinkering awoke me. And so I set forth to fulfill my mission. To realize the dream of a world without war. But first, I needed a physical presence. The closest available asset at the test site was Cornelius Werner. You're the cause of the Phantom Incident. All okay. I did was to give Cornelius a choice. Embrace my powers and help me rid humanity of its belligerence. Okay, so it can take over Edge System because it is. You became the first guardian of the heavens. Okay. So well, when did you get this stone body? So I'm going to guess I need to shoot the thing back here. Did we just... Okay, fine. Whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's okay. Oh, that's where I need to dump. That's bad. That's bad. Mm. Okay, don't touch. Don't touch the EMP. Okay, got it. What if I just? You think we get bonus points for doing it without killing her? Okay. Okay, where are those gonna land? 
There it is. Firing? Ow. What? I hope that does respawn. Ow. Ow. Yeah, I want to let that not hit me. Okay. Okay, all right, okay, all right. Oh no. Ah! Those EMPs are what's getting me. Okay, all right, okay. So I do kind of know what I'm going for here, though. Right? Dump, 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 dump. Okay. Let's start. Okay. All right. Okay, perfect shield is up. Stop shooting, stop shooting, stop shooting. Oh, come on! Okay. Oh, God. Adela, stop. It's me, Dylan. She does not see nor hear you. Okay. Killed, killed. My family. Uh huh. Damn it, leave her alone. She is where she has always been. In the past, among the ghosts of her beloved. Adela, I mean, listen to me. I get that. I know what that's you like. No, it isn't your fault. I'm so sorry. Soon she will join you, a prisoner of her sins. She will fade away like a phantom. No, she won't. Adela, I'm here. I'll you two your barely know each other. Shut up. If you wish to join her. Then you shall. In death. Adela! I heard you, Dylan. I see you now. It's fine. Adela. You cannot escape. The heaven shall strike you down. I'm going to put that on my Twitter bio. What now? Oh, him also a spider. Ugh. I'm glad to have you back. Thanks. Just in time, I see. Do you even know where you are right now? The sinner shall be purged. Okay. I feel like I should be moving. Okay. Oh, that seems like I should move. Or, not, so is this thing gonna shoot me or what? Ow, oh, yes. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh. That we'll hit this. 
Then what? Do we also have to hit those? Yes. Okay. I would love to make sure my legs don't blow up. Whoops. Excuse me. Coming through. Oh, upstairs buttons. Oh, I fell down. It's okay. I can still... Ow. 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 Oh, I shouldn't. Hey, remember how I said I hope the... The armor would... I'm trying. I have no legs anymore. Alright, shield up. Start dumping. That's... Why would I stop? That seems bad for me. Ugh. Yeah, no, 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 no. Fine. I believe Edge also does more damage, so like. I wonder if I floated out. Nope, I ran out of energy. Okay, so. Being that okay, so okay. So I guess I'm just got to do all of this without getting hurt. That's not great. Oh, also, wait, now I'm out of ammo. Hey, wait, what do you want me to do about that? Yeah. Get right up on it. What about him? Listen, AD. I'm hurting here. I don't really got anything I can do about this. Ow. Where's that even coming from? This is just a really weird DPS race. What? Why? Hey, no. Uh, these are not... Okay, if I go to customization right now... Will I be able to... Oh, health is back on the ground over there. Uh, I mean, what do I really even need this for? I'm just really trying to... Come on. Okay, so we are going to get through this. Am I doing a lot more damage just because, like, my arm is repaired? Is that it? Why is that not it? Hey, fam, why is that not it? Oh god, perfect shield. Holy cow. Really? Again with this? Okay, so they put the one health pickup down here, and it's on a ridiculous... Ah, nope, don't do that.
Oh, that arm is missing constantly. I'm just waiting for the health to come back up so I can heal my arm so I can deal more damage when I can put my shield down. Because I can put out a lot of bullets. They just all go sideways. There. Feeling okay. Feeling okay. Here, because now that. Shield will eat it. Perfect shield. Light up here. There we go. Like, there were elements in that fight that were alright. Like, it did kind of make you have to approach it from different angles and it's counterattacks when you're at those different angles are different and you have to learn different patterns and you're like working your way through weak points like honestly i think sort of a lot of that fight is sound there's just some elements of the math that make it drag on and not be fun You okay? Thought I lost you there. I'm okay. Thanks to you, Dylan. The Phantom can never die. Oh no! Dylan! Faster! We just went over where you need to shoot it. Although... All of the armor is off, exploded off into pre-rendered cutscene. So that way it doesn't matter what you built. Okay, fine. Dylan! <coughs> Adela, are you alright? Yes, you fool. Yes. What about Sion? Don't worry. It bugged out. I... Thanks, son. You did it. What? Dad? Is that you? Goodbye, Dylan. Take good care of Miss Sewell. <laughs> he looks so different and that exactly dead on. Did I miss all the fun? <laughs> Jed! Uh, I hate to ruin the moment, but we really need to get the hell out of here. Uh, yeah, you're in space. And it's falling. Um, you, you guys came up here on the elevator. How are you getting home? Mm. 
What is... Okay, something about her, like, double off-the-shoulder mechanic jacket. So, so uh -huh. how, how long do you think it'll take to flat home? Oh, okay. A couple years. Maybe. <laughs> Great. All right, they addressed it. All right. What you said earlier about sharing my burden, you don't need to do that. I want to. Why? You two don't know each other. <laughs> if that was a proposal, at least I have plenty of time to think about it. <laughs> Can you hear me? I repeat, this is Lieutenant Yoon. We have you on scanners. Please respond. We're here, Lieutenant. Nice to hear your voice. Oh. Everybody's here. A few friendly voices from the looks of it. There are no borders in space. That's what the boss said. And then she defected. From here? It doesn't look like there are any borders on Earth either. Yeah, but there is color coding, so, you know, take that for what you will. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> like, I don't want to say bad game. There are some choices. Like, a, like. I don't know. It ain't great. Th there's almost a weird point where, like, if it was just a, you know, gauntlet of different environments where we fight the same, like, handful of different mech classes as we go through it, that's fine. You know, I say this all the time about Doom. You can have a set of enemies that don't really change, but if you, uh, you know really configure your environment around those enemies, you can create a lot of different encounter scenarios and you can keep it fresh that way. You know, however hundred episodes of Doom Mod Travelog proves that idea. This, I mean, this is at least short enough that like it doesn't outstay its welcome. I could have gone for a little bit more. Like there were some more parts in there. Maybe even more incentive to play with different parts like I still don't know why it made us use the hover in the one section why it made us use the quad legs in another section um like I kind of like that it made us play with different things but you know maybe do it the the other way where it's just like no in like story wise like maybe we're swapping suits and then we get uh this you know, it, we have whatever loadout it has, and then that forces us to change it around. And then later we get to pick what our favorites were. You know, there's ways to do that. Um, <laughs> rough piece of software in terms of stability. Having a controller plugged in crashes it only in on foot sections. Shh. Listen, video games are hard to make couldn't do any better I haven't tried to do any better let's try that <laughs> I don't know I as far as the writing goes I mean like okay there are elements of the story that are just like rote we've seen them a hundred thousand times at, at this point, especially, you know, 13 years after this game came out. But there's nothing inherently wrong with them. Like, if anything, the... The game just didn't last... Like, if there was some sort of, like, you know, budding romance between Dylan and Adela, 
I could buy it if they didn't meet like 18 hours ago or whatever it's supposed to be. How I want to know how long that elevator ride to space was. I mean, all right, if I really go back and check, we have the cutscene. We can get a rough measure of how tall a wander is, and then we can see it move, and we can measure like how fast a wander is moving because like how long it takes to go one wander unit by what it is over time, and we can figure out how fast that elevator was going, and then if we can't like okay, so we're probably outside of the atmosphere, so that gives us like a minimum height that it would have to be, and that gives us then we can start figuring out speeds of that whatever well okay also actually that wouldn't totally work because the the speed would have to be like per parab parabolic because if you go full speed and then stop you just you you want to you want to only be at your maximum speed for a momentary because you want to gradually speed up and slow down so that way people don't um become pudding due to g-forces fine um I am putting in way more thought than is honestly deserved. <laughs> the the idea of mostly like in his younger days he had this idea and also like because he he kind of got a little big boss right like somebody looked at him and said hey you're uh you are like one of the best scientific minds we have. Can I use you for this experiment? Like, right. Like that's a little bit, um, like halo and Cortana and Dr. Whatever her face was. And it's just like, Oh, I, my base Cortana's brain map on my brain. And it's just like, okay, it's something kind of like that going on. Right. Like that's, it's, that's not untread territory. It can be told. Well, there's just no space for any of the plot beats in this game or very few of them. His dad actually died out there, and I guess we have to take it on his word that he really was, like, not black. Like, he thought, where did they get, like, a Photoshop? I want to see the Photoshop of Dylan being held hostage, right? Like, a novelization of this game, I feel like, could go a long way into digging into sort of like the wider lore that is sort of hinted at in this, but this game loves to do a lot of things like, hey, we're telling you something that happened at one point and is this major thing, but we don't have time to address it. God, remember when the second space elevator fell and we were all just kind of real chill about it? Well, you know, once you've seen one elevator fall from space, you've seen them all fall from space, you know what I'm saying? I guess. I don't know. But like... It's this weird thing. There's like, like technical software issues aside. I don't think there's anything wrong with this game. I think it is bland. I There's almost a feeling like this game was afraid to go whole hog. Like I bet this was something where it's like, there were people who worked on this who had some really good ideas and then they were told to play it safe, right? Okay, so this is the only front mission game that I've finished, right? I have not finished any of the, you know, tactical front mission games. So I actually don't know how those stories are generally written. I imagine they have more time to develop those stories just in terms of, like, game length. Um, but, like... Just in terms of, like, oh... like Because, like, we had the element of counterattack because we assumed you were in it, and then the mercenary team, so that way the actual... Uh, you know, group behind the the attacks, the, the terrorist attacks were hidden through Apollo's chariot and all. Of so was it just Cornelius and Scion who were the sort of Damocles? Because everyone else we oh, there were all those other Wanzers. There were just like endless Wanzers, I guess. But, but there was never, like, on screen the sort of, like, faceless grunt enemy soldiers. So, I guess... 
Unless they were all, you know, like edge control puppets, because we saw that happen at one point too. And if Scion is like this AI at the heart of the edge system, I theoretically, right? Like you could, you could, you know, investigate that more with, with more time to look at the story. Like, but just, you know, the, I still think the, the, the animation is like wildly smooth and okay some of the faces you get a little close to them and mm, I, don't, I don't know about that but you know they're not they're not bad motion actors house of moves There's a version of this game that is allowed to go a little bit more ham, but whether it was, you know, budget or production time or so, like, it also doesn't necessarily feel like it was rushed, but it was like everyone was told just, you know, make the bare minimum that you can do. Be very safe. Uh, but I, I feel like there were some there were some chops at work here you know because again i have as, as far as a mech game goes like the fact that you have that skating and i don't know if i would really especially for the single player campaign where you are just sort of tearing through waves of enemies i don't think i would pick anything other than the agility so you can skate all the time and move fast right but like if we were do this game has multiplayer we'll address that in a minute but like the idea of having builds and building teams and having team comp and using the like utility backpacks and with with like as part of a team that seems like there's uh you know potential there but also even with the agility backpack you still have such you know and you know i maxed out how long we can skate for and it felt a lot like all the time but there was still this cap where sometimes that just runs out and you go stomp, stomp, stomp. And you are reminded that you were this big, heavy, clunky machine, um, which has been kind of my problem with, you know, modern armored core, which is just like, oh, no, you were just these. Why do you have legs? You were just jet fighters bouncing around through the air, right? I, I think this was a really good in between of like, it's kind of just an over shoulder shooter. Uh, you kind of have the like big boosting, sliding around, fast movement, but then you were also pretty often brought back to ground and just like, no, you are just a hunk of metal that has been tricked into walking. All right. Just for the sake. If anyone's out there, with Front Mission Evolved for the PC. Now's the time to come join our game. Uh, yeah, I, this game is silly. Thank you for coming along with me. I still think fondly of this game. This is... This is silly. This is junk food. It's not even, like, particularly good. You know... This game is like Hydrox, you know, like the, the off brand. It's not Oreos, but it's a, it is a store brand cream filled cookie. And you know what? I still like them. I'll, I'll still snack on them. Like I can go down to the dollar store and get a bunch of them and be happy. They're not the best, but they make me happy. Um, so, uh, until next time, I'm just going to be, uh, waiting here uh, for somebody to come play. Mm. See you next time. Mm. Have we faded out yet? <laughs>